What is up guys? We are here today to check out this awesome retro flyer uh, preamp. Right now this is just the original Rhodes as it came with its signal path which is passive and uh, let's take a listen first just what we have here. This is a 1973 Fender Rhodes Mark I and we're just gonna play everything's bypassed. This is just straight into the console. It's a great sounding instrument. Uh, let's see what happens when we put this preamp in. Alright guys, so we're back and we have installed the Avian Studios Retro Flyer. Let's see what this thing sounds like, mono. So I turned it on, it takes a second for the uh, amp to kick in, and now let's see what this sounds like. Whew. the volume a little bit. Keep it going. <laughs> and we got this awesome mids control so we can really accentuate the bark and the kind of the part of the roads that you really want to hear, especially like when you're soloing. Take the mids all the way out. Also a cool sound. Midway. More. Oops, we got a little hot there. That's good. You want it. You want see the thing about the roads is especially in the studio situation. You always, you know, with the original Mark One dials, you just have them maxed because if you took the volume out, you'd get a big increase in buzz on your preamp or if you're going through pedals or whatever. And with the bass boost, that's actually just cutting the bass, not boosting the bass. When it's all the way up, that's when there's it's at unity. So with this, you have much more tone control over the instrument. Awesome. So let's check out now what the tremolo sounds like. So this is just going to be a mono tremolo. Turn on the unit. I like that. That is worth the price of admission. 
All right, so now let's try it stereo. All right, so we've got a TRS cable here plugged in. It's a stereo cable. And now what we've all been waiting for, stereo tremolo. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna turn it on. Heaven, it sounds so good. You might ask me why don't you just do that with a pedal or a plug-in? Well, this is analog and it's based off of the original Peterson circuit that did a very special type of tremolo. It's not just like a sine or a triangle. It's, it's kind of this odd shape that is really best produced by this circuit. So that's why it sounds so cool and that's why our ears have become accustomed to hearing that sound from, you know, records from the 70s and beyond. All right, there you have it. Um, I would give this unit 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm definitely keeping it in there. This is a very easy install. I am not good with screwdrivers and stuff like that. And this was, I don't know, it took me less than an hour. Probably should take most of you probably 15 or 20 minutes at most. Um, now drop a comment below, a like, and thank you, Morgan. Thank you everybody at Avion Studios for sending this over and I'm really happy to have it. And uh, I'm looking forward to making a lot of music with it.